first Democratic debate was anything but boring. The American people are sick and tired of hearing about your damn emails. Unless somebody mentions my name, I can't get into the discussion. Are you saying you didn't know what you were voting for? I think you're being a little rough. I just arrived at the United States Senate. But the topic that really got candidates heated? Gun control. This has gone on too long, and it's time the entire country stood up against the NRA. We did it, Anderson, Governor, by leading with principle, not by pandering to the NRA well, and backing down to the NRA. Well, if voting record, I don't, think, I have I'm quite, I don't think I am pandering, but you have not been in the United States Congress. But while the candidates had a lot to say, what do their past policies tell us about how they might deal with gun violence as president? Well, for one, Senator Bernie Sanders, who got a lot of heat at the debate, has a pretty checkered past on gun control. In 1993, he voted against a five-day waiting period for buying guns. At the time, he said he was holding up his promise to his constituents in Vermont, a big hunting state. Then in 2005, Sanders voted for a bill that shielded gun manufacturers from lawsuits. It was an NRA-backed bill. Sanders has said he would support gun control as president, but he hasn't unveiled a plan yet. Meanwhile, Hillary Clinton managed to appear more progressive than Sanders on the issue. He was going to give immunity to the only industry in America. Everybody else has to be accountable, but not the gun manufacturers. And we need to stand up and say enough of that. After the recent Oregon shooting, Clinton unveiled a plan that would include stricter background checks, closing loopholes in the law, and preventing domestic abusers from owning guns. How many people have to die before we actually act? Clinton also said she would issue executive orders if Congress wouldn't work with her. And her past? Well, while in the Senate, she voted against that same NRA-backed bill that Sanders supported. But in 2007, while running for president, she softened her rhetoric, calling guns part of our culture and a way of life in America. And the other three Democratic candidates? Well, Lincoln Chafee, a former senator and governor like Clinton, voted against the NRA-backed bill while in the Senate. And at the debate, Chafee emphasized the need for an inclusive approach to gun control. I would bring the gun lobby in and say, we've got to change this. Where can we find common ground? Both he and Martin O'Malley were governors when the 2012 Sandy Hook shootings happened, and both pushed for strict gun control packages in their states. In 2013, O'Malley signed what was thought to be the most progressive state gun law in the country. Look, it's fine to talk about all of these things, and I'm glad we were talking about these things, but I've actually done them. He was also the first Democratic candidate to release his gun plan after this month's Oregon shooting, saying his plan would cut gun violence in half in the next 10 years. Meanwhile, former Senator and Secretary of the Navy Jim Webb is the biggest gun rights supporter amongst the Democratic candidates. In the debate, he even said, But we have to respect the tradition in this country of people who want to defend themselves and their family from violence. So, in a country where the NRA still has its grip on Congress and the Second Amendment reigns supreme, which candidate has what it takes to win over all of America? 